Your statutes are wonderful, therefore I obey them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may obey your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your decrees. Streams of tears flow from my eyes, for your law is not obeyed. Psalm 119 verses 129 to 136. When you wake up, what do you think of and what makes you hopeful? What motivates you to get out of bed? This was a question we were asked at church one time. And I thought to myself, what actually makes me hopeful when I wake up and open my eyes and get out of bed? What do I think of? I usually think of my to-do list. And that's normal. As human beings, we usually think of the things we have to do in the morning, (laughs) have breakfast, do chores, study, etc. But the psalmist says, I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. And I desire to be like this psalmist who asks for the Lord to make his face shine upon him and to ask for the Lord to teach me his decrees. We live in a world where sometimes it is hard to find peace and quiet and sometimes we find it hard to find time to have a quiet time and so today I want to ask you when you wake up what are you hopeful for I want to encourage you to read Psalm 119 and pray this prayer direct my footsteps Lord according to your word let no sin rule over me Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your decrees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just really want to encourage you guys with your quiet time. Perhaps you are going through a dry season or maybe you're missing some days of your quiet time and you just miss just being really close with Jesus and feeling his presence. I just really want to encourage you guys in this video in your quiet time what a privilege to spend time with god in his word and it's crazy because we live in a time where we can actually go to god 24 7 because of what jesus has done on the cross in the old testament only moses can enter into the holy of holies to meet with God and when Moses died only the priest can enter into the holy of holies every year to sacrifice offering for their sins and now 
that we have this personal relationship with God himself because 2,000 years ago Christ lived a perfect life and he was a sacrifice for our sins and now we have a relationship with Jesus which is just shocking this phenomenon is mind-blowing and sometimes we forget as Christians that wow I have this personal relationship with the creator of the universe who is amazing and loving and he is good and he wants to meet with me and I've been reading this book called Feeding Your Soul by Jean Fleming. I really recommend this book to those who are struggling in their quiet time and if you don't know exactly why we do quiet times and if you are struggling to structure your quiet time that I really recommend this book because it teaches you all the bits and bobs um, how to do it, why we do it, the purpose behind it and I just want to share with you guys um, some things that I've read that are really important she asks the question why do you have a quiet time and she notes that habits practiced without a clear purpose soon degenerate into meaningless ritual and so having a purpose and knowing the reason behind why we do quiet time is vital because when we we are not motivated for the right reasons and if we do not know the purpose behind why we're doing it then we are just going with a flow like a dead fish just basically going with a ritual that is meaningless because there's no heart behind it and she says there are three reasons for having a quiet time and I absolutely agree with these three reasons and she mentioned one God desires to meet with you when you ask why have a quiet time answer because God desires my company and our mindset shifts into this groggy oh I have to do this into God wants my company and I can't wait to cultivate and build this friendship together with him so the second reason is that um, you need it we need to have a quiet time with God why because we are forgetful because we drift away so quickly because our hearts are just forgetful and man we need it our hearts need to be filled with God's truth our minds need to be renewed every day we need to be killing sin every day we cannot kill sin without knowing what God hates in the Bible and so man we need it we need encouragement we need rebuking we need repentance we need God's truth and everything that God wants to inform us are in the scripture and the third reason she mentioned is uh, the world desperately needs to see Christ in you man this is so so vital when we get out of the door to to do our daily work the world is just broken and needs to see God and as Christians how often do we fail I fail a lot and man I don't want people to see me and see the old Kate the dead Kate who was so self-absorbed who was selfish who who was just dead in my sins and now that i am in jesus all my sin was crucified on the cross and now that i have this personal relationship with jesus i want to be like jesus and i want everyone around me to see that in me because the world desperately needs to see jesus the world needs the gospel when your friend needs wisdom when they need advice you're not just giving worldly advice you are giving godly advice and when the people are hurting you have this comfort that's just not um humanly you're you're sharing the comfort that you know from christ and so the world needs to 
see Jesus in you. So the three reasons for having a quiet time is God desires to meet with you. You need it and the world desperately needs to see Christ in you. If you are on and off with your quiet time, I really encourage you to pray and seek God for a heart that would seek continually for him that would hunger for him and i just want to read a quote to you that really challenged me it's by c.s lewis and he says the only people who achieve much are those who want knowledge so badly that they seek it while the conditions are still unfavorable favorable conditions never come and so if you are struggling to have a quiet time and have a structured quiet time with God and when you think of oh I'm gonna do this once I finish this no start today because God wants to meet with you today and so I hope you guys are encouraged with this video I hope you found value in it I just really want to encourage my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ what a privilege we have to meet with God on a daily basis, to learn from Him, to sit at His feet and listen from Him. Um, what an amazing gift. Who would not want such a company? The one who created the universe, the one who created you wants to meet with you and cultivating a relationship with God takes time and effort like any other friendships and relationships. And so I really want to encourage you guys with this video. I'm gonna stop now because I've been talking a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any video suggestions, comment them down below. I hope to see you guys in my next one. But for now, much love and God bless. Bye.